Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, I'm talking Eldritch Dagger. It got a buff in the last patch. It got buff, I think, either the patch before or, or the patch before that patch. And it's now officially at 15% protections. You get this benefit and the ability to see wards for 20 seconds. I've been building it a lot in ranked recently. Played it on some tier solo. When I blinked into team fights, I had an extra protections. Also, if I ever beads, I get cooldowns back up. And then I also get tank gear. So it's just a few things that I was messing around with. And I think it's finally in a good spot. Let me talk about it. So on a lot of these somewhat tanky gods where, where you are allowed to go a damage item and they have like some relevant damage in their kit like Charon, I've been messing around kind of building it on a god like him because with a build like this, you're sitting at about 270 protections of each. You'll be getting about 40 protections from this Eldritch Dagger passive. And also you'll be getting the ability to see wards. Now, why is that so exciting? A couple things. Looking at Relic cooldowns, Bracer of Brilliance is a 90, or sorry, 100 second cooldown. It used to be 90, got nerfed. It's a 100 second cooldown with the Eldritch Dagger, brings it down to 60 seconds. So with this 60 seconds, you are allowed to place down your Bracer of Brilliance, and then you can walk through the jungle and almost circle the entire jungle and just de-ward wherever you want. That is absolutely insanely busted. Yes, they might be able to get wards down, but they'll have to back. And you did this without even buying a century. You didn't have to invest any gold. And then you also de-ward gaining gold from them. You could literally play your own little mini game of just de-warding the enemy's jungle or, or where you know they have wards with your Bracer of Brilliance. And this extends even into objective fights around Fire Giants. Around Fire Giant, okay, you ward your Bracer defensively so you and your allies can get it. And then you slowly walk up, back up to the Bracer, walk up, back up to the Bracer. So you keep getting that movement speed and just de-ward wherever. It is insanely strong, the vision control you get with the Bracer racer and with this Eldritch Dagger. And on top of that, these 15% protections are not insane, but when you think about the item, it is an item that gives no protections in itself. So getting a little bit of extra protections, even if it is on a cooldown and you need to use something else that has a longer cooldown, it doesn't really matter. You'll get it because a lot of the times you're using it around team fights. So when I played tier, I would go blink. Whenever I blinked in, as soon as I blinked in, I would get the benefit for 20 seconds and also the ability to see wards. Another cool thing where if you're playing like a backline dive character like Xing Chen and you start with blink, You'll get it on the blink, and then maybe it wears off five, six seconds. A full team fight breaks out. You can then pop your Onk, which is a 120 second cooldown. When you upgrade it, it becomes 100 seconds. This is a also a 60 second cooldown along with Bracer, along with Blink being slightly higher. I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it is just 120, but I'm not positive. So Blink is then 80 seconds. So all these have low enough cooldowns almost where you can kind of keep up the Bracer, or, or sorry, the Eldritch Dagger almost as long as you want. On top of it, it's a somewhat cheap item, 2450 gold. It might not be as OP in ranked, but those protections are very strong in, in ranked. My tier build that I ran, and, and I dominated this game, keep that in mind. I went this build. Yeah, you can see it. I went this build. So the Eldritch Dagger gave me more protections on this. And I did 41,000 damage and I took 60,000 damage. It felt very good. But that's what the video is about. It's just about Eldritch Dagger. Try it out. Support solo. I probably wouldn't try it in jungle, but heck it. You could try it if you want. But let me know what you guys think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have one of us here today. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.